Okay, stock market crash, descending wedges of death, and this is going to be, I guess, at least mostly uh, a Bitcoin video because Bitcoin is the one instigating these wedges of death, but there, we're getting wedges of death across a bunch of charts. So let's go see what is terrifyingly scary at the moment, uh, starting with uh, Bitcoin, but we'll look at the market and we'll get a few other charts. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and definitely complain about this stuff if you're a bull because this is going to be a bear video uh, for just for these things. Go watch my last video for some bullish things, uh, but it's not this. Okay, F well, first of all, and for Bitcoin, the whole Bitcoin black swan situation, go watch. My entire playlist on Craig Wright, Satoshi Nakamoto, court case, Bitcoin, Black Swan. There's a legal storm coming for BTC. And there's going to be a fork war. There's going to be a bunch of mess. The normal Bitcoin cycle stuff is in place still, but not very important. Let me tighten the ribbon up. Okay. Bitcoin. BTC, which I don't call Bitcoin anymore. Um, BTC is just now in a little descending trap and we're just here now and this could take until february to resolve and i'm not going to get super bearish i'm going to give you a bull fucking move so for one here when do we break out of this downtrend that's a very clear downtrend but the out move if we break out of here if this neckline holds we break out we're headed back to the ribbon back to the tape and that's like, you know, August-ish, we're looking for 70 somewhere. Probably that's that'll be the end of the cycle theory that most people would consider. That's the bull target. Uh, that's not what's happening right now. I don't think so. What I think is going to happen is this is legit uh, descending triangle resistance. And we're going to probably tap this 31, which is our bottom here that's a neckline we're going to hit the resistance we're going to push through and the downside target write this down it's a very important downside target right here at 14 april 1st 14k on april fool's day this is your downside target okay but let me paint a couple things that happen uh quite often in descending wedge patterns like you're gonna get a crossover like some people will be like oh this is a waterfall sell-off it's not a waterfall sell-off it's just like we did a crossover here that's cool but when you cross over back down it's, it's ugly it's way ugly it's vertical uh, and that is if we push through this 31 neckline that's what's coming and this is not financial advice all hypothetical but this is a pretty normal trading pattern we got one of these almost exactly like this on the gme short squeeze and this is generally a bullish thing to like break out of a descending wedge but like as we saw in gamestop like it doesn't need to get bullish immediately like it can spit out to the downside and there's a little move called like a trap door crossover like once you hit the other side you probably aren't done and you can get like a flat you know kind of consolidating down to a flat and boom and you drop again so we could get like a trapdoor here or we could get a trapdoor here at the this level that we pumped from but in either case like when you're crossing over breaking out of the wedge is not guaranteed and then when you do break out well i mean you can break out kind of in any direction like you can spit to the downside too um so if we do come down it's more likely to tap the bottom edge twice more than once and that's what i would call i would say if we break down i kind of like this bull support area as a crossover and i think we'll hit it twice and then if we spit out i don't know I don't know like if we come out under this and like turn we could turn over here like we have this whole range if we come out down here anyway this hypothetical stuff anyway the point is that we do have a descending wedge setup on btc 
and there are more sort of black swan-ish things going on with BTC than most people realize. Go watch my playlist. Go look up the theory of Bitcoin videos. Learn how Bitcoin actually works and what is up with the BTC chain because it's not what you think it is. All right, let's go look at the general market. There are potential wedges on the market. Now, this is a way, way bearish thing that I don't think is going to happen, but let me just draw it because the lines are there. So we just did a decent sized pullback into mid channel. So most likely we break out of this now uh, on the general market. But if we do get stuck under this trend, the bottom channel is even more likely. Um, but we're still in we're still in this bull channel on it's not a bull channel. This is like a bubble run across channels. But for now we're still in that. But in the event that the S&P does get trapped, and I don't think this is happening because I don't think that we are going to pull down this hard now. I think that we're just rotating out of some high risk assets like meme stocks. We're rotating out of crypto and we're going to be rotating into miners, minerals, materials, things like that. And the S&P will continue to bull. Um, the NASDAQ looks like it might get a little bit weak, but uh, I'm trying to figure out the sectors that will work here uh, shortly. But for now, I'm just short. Like, I'll show you as we go through. I'm just short. I have no long positions. <laughs> I'm short. So, um, right. Let's just say that we lose our bubble channel and the S&P actually starts breaking down. Like, yeah, we could break out here, but if we get trapped and we go out of this wedge to the downside, where are we going? Like, we're going across this this wedge we jumped on top of this we crossed over like this is a potential monster slice of pizza on the s p that would send us down like an 80 freaking 75 percent crash um that is possible but that's not what i think is happening right now i just wanted to show that uh kind of just to be a dick but let me uh, let me go through right. Crypto are the main the main things that are wedging out. So we just looked at Bitcoin. Bitcoin did a double rejection off the ribbon, and it's blown the channel. It's blown the you know the bubble trend. It's looking ugly. But ETH, quite similar chart, not exactly the same. It's doing a lot of the same stuff. You know, and you can see when you get these uh, down wedges, like maybe you tap once and break out, maybe you tap twice and break out. Um, but a downward move on ETH is going to be in the 1,000-ish range here. Um, so for me, like if ETH rallies up under here, this is a perfect short entry uh, for ETH with that as a down target, like 3,000 to 1,000 or something, like boom. Um, and that might that might uh, present itself over the next month, uh, but I think ETH is in trouble along with BTC. And then uh, I'll look at the miners in a minute, but like Tesla maybe, but it's kind of strong. Like this previous kind of bearish move, you know, where Michael Burry was super short and everyone was freaking out, um, and then we rallied, but we got trapped under a downtrend, right? But if you tie them together, it's just kind of like a not very steep sort of wedge setup. That hasn't started really yet. Um, but same kind of thing, you know, if Tesla hooks under here, that's like 1,000 to like 500 kind of move that could be threatened on Tesla. Uh, but if you flip through some other EV kind of meme stock stuff, it can get a little uglier. Like ARC is already crashing. It's already done this. Hop on the downtrend, crossover, boom. It's almost finished crossing over. So actually, ARC might like spit out, and we'll see what it looks like soon. Although, yeah, I wouldn't want to just like pick it up on this downtrend line. That's like where you close a short, not investment advice. But uh, yeah, ARC might be happening sooner than other things uh, in terms of these falling wedge shapes. But you get to see one like almost completed there. Uh, workhorse, maybe this is 
maybe pushing it a little bit, but like this thing is headed like out of business if that whole thing happens. I don't know. That's pushing it. Uh, don't have one on there. Um, yeah, Nicola. Like this is a short position I was taking because I thought if we break like this level where the SPAC came onto the market, it could get pretty ugly, but um, I don't know. I might get out of this because I see a lot of other things that are seem like better trade setups here. But it does look like it might be falling into trouble. But this isn't exactly the wedge kind of thing I was talking about. Um, let's see. Oh, GameStop. Yeah, no wedge here. This is, unfortunately, this was one of my favorite uh, bull flags that I was looking for support here we blew the bull flag now gamestop is just kind of on a downtrend uh it blew the bull trend it's on a downtrend uh, it's not a wedge but i just wanted to show it um that's too bad that would have been a cool uh, long entry that got busted do i have anything on amc i do oh totally yeah amc is definitely doing this whole wedge problem and it's um and it's blowing the bull structure but it's getting close to the bottom here i don't know where it would pick up around 10 somewhere or something like that and we'd have to see where it goes but um, there's a lot of stocks blowing their entire bull structure and now wedging into the, like this kind of bearish pattern uh, and these can well you know it's bearish until it breaks out and then you, you don't know where it's going to go so that's kind of the idea here um, and then if you look at the crypto miners, the crypto miners have very similar, oh, MicroStrategy is not a crypto miner. This is Michael Saylor um, and his semi-Bitcoin fund where he just bought a ton of Bitcoin on his company balance sheet. But uh, this thing, similar to the, uh, the Bitcoin charts, and yeah, same kind of thing. You pick up the down wedge, you start crossing. And so it's not like guaranteed to finish crossing over right now, but probably will finish crossing over. And the downside here is like one something in the 100s. Uh, so that's a look, you know, and that could take just like the, the Bitcoin area. This one could take a whole month. Um, Mara, Mara is my number one short position I've been on for over a month now. And I picked it up like right here when we hooked under this, this, uh, bear flag here and yeah i mean i have a crossover target down here about eight bucks so that's like 60 to eight maybe uh, on a short trade and it's still it's still kind of trapped under here and it's very limited time here like this thing has to make a decision if it's going to break down just in the next week probably a lot of these other descending wedges have like an entire month to kind of figure out where they're going so I could potentially short this and then maybe even short something else after that. Um, but anyway, Mara, as if you've watched my last 10 videos, you know Mara is like my number one short the whole time. Um, it's been a pretty good short. Now, MicroStrategy and Mara have very similar charts and doing similar things. So those are two to watch. Uh, Riot and Hut are miners that didn't have an obvious bearish setup, but they're doing the exact same pattern now and these look pretty similar so yeah pretty much crypto and miners btc eth you know my mara riot hut uh, microstrategy are sort of creating this ugly wedge setup um, but there's a lot of things that look bad along with it uh oh does tilray have one maybe no it's just it's just kind of like riding a bear channel right now um okay but so there's a ton of stuff crashing and then sins is i did not want to draw a a descending wedge on this thing but if you look at this breakdown that just happened it's pretty obviously a grinding release off of a bear shelf and that sucks because this was my favorite bull flag it's like the only bull flag left in the entire market and i had a really fun like 
over exaggerated upside idea here. Uh, but this breakdown now throws us into another wedge pattern to the downside. And I'll have to follow this and see if it gets trapped under here. But And this is just like $2 to $1 or something if it goes down. It's not that crazy. Like some of these other ones are pretty nutty. I mean, like if you go back to like MicroStrategy or something, it's like it was like over a thousand dollars and it's going to like a hundred or something um, that's pretty dramatic um, not I mean not guaranteed but like if the wedge like plays out it could go lower than that I mean you can like you can double tap you can break out and then you can fall and then you can kind of pick up after that I mean the downside could be below a hundred so just in terms of like picking the right ones that's obviously <laughs> important but also, uh, not just the direction, but like the, you know, the momentum and like the size of the moves, the percentage size of the moves, you know, if it's falling less than half, you know, two to one on a small stock, if you're going to do put options or something like that, like the options cost money and, you know, the price of the stock matters because the size of the option and the duration might be expensive. Like this thing around eight hundred dollars, like you might have to pay like I don't know five or ten thousand dollars for one put option on this thing because it's so expensive. Um, whereas you know on like Cincyonics, the thing's like two bucks, so uh, it's not like a put's expensive. The problem is you have to pay a fee on every put. Like you might have to buy a thousand put options, and then you're paying. 1,000 fees on put options so if it just like doesn't play out and you have to trade out of it like you lose all the fees so uh, those kind of things matter to some extent but this does seem like a crypto forward market pullback that's gonna affect sort of meme stocks and the high risk stuff and I think that's all that's gonna happen is I think we're just gonna have a crypto crash and a meme stock well means a lot of the meme stocks have been crashing since like February like a lot of them are like down 50% already um, but I think we're gonna finish crashing out of some high-risk meme nonsense and we're gonna crash out of crypto and then I think we're gonna continue bullying I would expect like the NAS to well yeah I kind of have a wedge on the NAS um, we have like this downtrend that was there anyway, but like we're already bottoming on the NAS wedge. So I think the NAS is going to bounce. If you look at the dominance, the NASDAQ has been absolutely crapping versus the S&P here. And I mean, if we take a look out, not like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have like this zone where we just kind of jumped like where the NASDAQ dominance went like way hard against the S&P. And now we're testing the area again. So I mean, if the NAS decided to come down, that could be a one or two year thing where the NAS does poorly against the S&P. So that, I mean, I guess that could happen. Like the NAS could be weak, but I don't, that's not what I think is really in threat here. I mean, I think the NAS could underperform other things but I think we're going to get back to bullying soon in the next two weeks to two month range, I think. Um, but it's going to be completely stuff that's bullying, completely different things. Like my last video, I looked at gold, gold, silver, and copper. Those are all holding up extremely well during this pullback. Um, so there's ideas like copper miners, FCX, gold miners, like AG and Gato. Uh, for, I don't know, uranium could be interesting. Um, gold, I don't know, like Barrett gold or something like that may be interesting. Um, there's some things like that. And then I'll get, I'll get more into the miners and minerals and materials stocks uh, if they start looking good <laughs> shortly. But right now, it's uh, it's just kind of tracking this crash and figuring out what's going to crash hard and where they're where they're going to bottom. But right now, it looks like 
Bitcoin is in big trouble. I'm going to throw this in the playlist, the Bitcoin playlist. And uh, yeah, BTC, go do your research on BTC. What Bitcoin actually is, it's a property rights system. It's not a buy and hold Ponzi freaking asset. It's designed for small denomination cash transfers and property rights and stuff like that. So like this current chain of Bitcoin called BTC is not Bitcoin. This is not what Bitcoin is. Um, watch my Bitcoin playlist and watch out for the descending wedge. And yeah, like this could take a month, could take an entire month before we get a decision here, but we're going to get a big, we're going to get a big move here. And it's going to be a news story, uh, probably a story that I already told you. So good luck, not investment advice, and happy trading.